Hello, I'm Anna White. And I'm Tom Burry. We teamed up to transform this space into the RYOBI Nation Dream Workshop. We came up with some amazing designs to not only save you space, but to add a lot of storage and organization with some quick and easy builds. And bring some fun into the workshop. want to make something that was very simple that you can use with just a few tools maybe have your Home Depot rip your plywood in half so um, all the shelving is just plywood ripped in half to 24 inches wide so there's zero waste it's all framed with just simple off-the-shelf 2x4s some screws very simple very economical very easy way to get your shop cleaned up so that you can really start to have some fun in it and I love that it's 2x4s because easy to work with and durable yeah, and I love the fact that we don't have any center posts, so if you're working with eight foot material, which is very common, you're not having to try to wiggle it into your shelving. It's just a matter of throwing it up there and you can start working with it. Let me see, easy, inexpensive, durable. I mean, we're done, that's it, this is perfect. We can move put on all to stuff away put everything up, let's fun. move on and we'll do the rest of the workshop. First of all, it's all basic materials off the shelf, which we always talk about using because it makes the project a lot simpler. We have two buys, we've got some one by pine, and we've got plywood. That's it. That's what puts the whole thing together. It's incredibly beautiful. I'm really impressed. So on this side, what I did was I put up a slat system, which the slat system installs really simply. And what I love about the slat system is you can move everything around. So right now I've got a bunch of hooks set up and I've got all my tools set up, but you could move it around in any which way and do whatever you'd like. I love this, this is fantastic. So this is the work side. Let me show you the play side behind this. Now this has gotta be my favorite part. I have to bring my laptop into the shop, your tablet, your phone, and this gives you kind of a place to put everything. Even if you had plans printed out, you could put everything here and it becomes your go-to spot. You've got great storage underneath, just cubbies. I have books and stuff in here, additional storage at the bottom, and you could configure this in any which way you wanted to. It's up to you. I just can't even express how much I love this project. My go-to favorite tool is the miter saw. I love the miter saw too. Me, being a contractor, I know two things about it. It takes up a lot of room and it's heavy. I have to set it up on a stand every time and sometimes I don't want to do the job because it's not worth the setup time just to get the saw out. The solution that I came up with was to put it on a cart that's only two feet deep. Because it's on the 45, I'm able to store it at two foot, but now I'm at full position and I have the full depth of range. So you can just pull these guys out. You know, you can use up to an eight foot long board. If you need to go longer, like 16 feet, you can pull the other cart out. If you go much longer than that, you need a longer garage yeah. or a bigger <laughs> shop. All right, so the only tool heavier than the miter saw is the table saw. And I saw you have that guy hidden over there on a cart. Can we yes, see that? Of course. So we built a cart for it, and I absolutely love all the storage underneath it. And then you can just pull it out. Again, I love how easy that is to take the saw out because half the job, you wouldn't even want to do it by the time you had to set it up. So this is so easy. If you're making a small cut, it's perfect. You're already set up. We designed the table saw cart with the table saw compatible to this height. It can work as a side feed. You know, you can just That's push amazing. it right through. Yeah, so That's really nice because you can work alone. I will say the carts are really handy. I mean, super handy. Well, really what this workshop has been missing in is an assembly table. Right, right. So we could use these as shop tables. Absolutely. So we, we could dedicate different carts for different uses. This could be a sanding cart, that could be a finishing cart, an assembly cart. Really, whatever you do in your workspace, you should customize the fit. And I do love the storage because I have a tendency to leave stuff on the table. So it's nice to just be able to put it away and have access to it without looking for stuff. These are great. These carts really came in handy. They're, they've made the shop so far. That's great. Well, you know what the best part about them, Tom? When we're done, we can just put them all away. So I call this guy the job buddy, and it's inspired by actual construction techniques. We'll typically build something like this on a job site 
when we're doing something at an awkward height. This way you could put all your tools on it, screws, everything you're doing for that specific job and take it with you. So this becomes your tool belt. You're taking your tool belt off. These are for clipping your tools on. So it's like your belt. This is a little magnet tray. So you take the screws out of your pouch, throw them on here. And again, the whole purpose is everything's coming with you. So this is your, it's your buddy, it's your extra set of hands. And on top of that, check this out, more storage. Well, with the little screens on the front, you could even put your stereo and speaker in there. And on top of that, this becomes your chair. So you're sitting on the bench watching the TV. I love it. Everybody needs a buddy. Agreed. Everybody needs a buddy. I know no workshop's complete without a solid work table, and I love that we built a corner work table in our shop. I think it's amazing. Absolutely. So these are really simple. We use the same building techniques as the built-in shelves. We have a nice shelf so that you can store your tools on it, but you can modify however you like. I know one of the issues with a corner, especially in a shop, is we end up just piling all the stuff in there. It becomes like the corner that nobody wants to go. I see you solved that here with some tools. How does this whole thing work? All we did here is took a piece of plywood, cut it in a circular shape, mounted a Lazy Susan hardware to the bottom of it. When you need to use your bench sander, just pull the pin easily rotate it, and then pin it back in. It's, I mean, it's great use of space, and it's nice to have a sturdy table. It's a must build, for sure. I put chalkboard paint on this so we can make our construction lists of what tools and things we need for our next project, which I think works for us. But, I mean, this is a blank canvas. You could do anything you want to it. It's heavy. So I've tapered the frame, and the gravity is keeping it closed right now. And then when you're ready to open it, all you have to do is pull the handle. Down it comes. Look at this. This is gigantic. You could do so many things with a space this big. And look at all the storage we have because of the taper. We've got paint cans on the bottom. We've got tools on the top. It's kind of all our messy stuff, stuff that you're tinkering on or whatever you happen to be working on. It's perfect to just hide it away. When you need it again, it's all here. And the best part about it is when you're done, you could just put it, it away. Can yeah. I give it a try? Yeah, go for it. It's easy to fold. Go for it. Oh, that is easy. And then we can. And now Hold gravity's it got it, and then just for safety, you put the lock latch on so the kids can't grab it or anything. Done. Hopefully you've seen something you'd like to build in your own workshop. We've added all the instruction on Ryobi Nation. So download those and share your builds with us. We'd love to see how your dream workshop turns out. Mm -hmm.